Scene one. The wind was a torrent of darkness among the gusty trees. The moon was a ghostly galleon tossed upon cloudy seas. The road was a ribbon of moonlight over the purple moor, and the highwaymen came riding, riding, riding. The highwaymen came riding up to the old inn door. Scene two. Over the cobbles he clattered and clanked in the darkened yard and he tapped with the whip on his shutters but all was latched on barred he whistled a tune to the window and who should be waiting there but Bess the black eye the landlord's black eyed daughter Bess the landlord's daughter passing a dark red love knot into her long black hair scene three and dark in the dark old inn yard, a stable wicket creaked. Where Tim the ostler listened, his face was white and pink. His eyes were hollowed with madness. His, he his hair was like mouldy hay. But he loved the landlord's daughter, the landlord's red-lipped daughter. Dumb as a dog, he listened and heard the robber say, "One kiss, my bonny sweetheart. I'm after a prize tonight, but I'll be back." with the yellow bowl before the morning light. Yet if they press me sharply and carry me through the day, then look for me by moonlight, watch for me by moonlight. I'll come to thee by moonlight, though, she'll, though hell which should bar the way. He rose up, scene four. He rose up, he rose up right in the stirrups. He Scared would reach his hand, but he loosened her hair in the casement. His face burnt like a brand as the black cascade of perfume came tumbling over his breast. And he kissed its waves in the moonlight, those sweet black waves in the moonlight. Then he tugged it, tugged at his rein in the moonlight and galloped off to the west. Scene 5. He did not come at dawning. He did not come at noon. And out on the tawny sunset before the rise of the moon. When the road was a gypsy's ribbon looping the purple moor, a red coat troop came marching, 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 red coat, <laughs> red <laughs> came marching. King George's men came marching up to the old inn door. They said no word to the landlord. They drank his ale instead, but they gagged his daughter to the bound to the foot of her bed. Two of them knelt at her casement, with muskets at their side. There was death at every window, and hell at one dark window. The best could see through her casement the road he would ride. He had seen seven. They had tied her up to attention with many a sniggering jest. They had bound her a musket with the bow beneath her breast. Her musket now peeped with watch and they kissed her. She heard the dead man say, look to me by moonlight. Watch me by moonlight. Her musket in the moonlight and warned him with her death. Bang, bang. Back. He turned. He turned his fur to 
the west. He did not know who stood bound her head. The musket drenched with her own blood. How best the landlord's daughter, the landlord's black-eyed daughter, had watched for her love in moonlight and died in darkness there. Back, he spurred like a man, madman, shrieking in curse. Like a curse to the sky, with the white road smoking behind him and his rapier brandished high. Blood red were his spurs. The golden noon white wine red at his velvet with his velvet coat when they shot him down on the highway. Down like a dog on the highway. Bang bang. <laughs> And, and, and he lay in his blood on the highway. I'm <laughs> like a dog on the highway. <laughs> and he laid in his blood on the highway with the bunch of lace at his throat. A still of winter's night, they say. They say. When the wind is in the trees, when the moon is a ghostly galleon tossed upon cloudy seas, when the road is a ribbon of moonlight, over the purple moor, the highwayman comes riding. Riding, riding, the highwayman comes riding up to the old inn door. Over the cobbles he flashes and flies in the dark in yard. He taps with the whip on his shutters, but all is locked and barred. He whistles a tune to the window, and who should be waiting there but Beth, the black-eyed land, the black-eyed landlord's black-eyed daughter, Beth, the landlord's daughter. Passing her dark red love knot into her long black hair. What are you doing? But, um, 